Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we are going to go through the next run of the Rise of the Robots campaign today with Operation Dawnblade. We are at the point where we have now kind of engaged in um, the mid-game and we finally got our second spark which is a wonderful addition so I do not no longer need to run rookies all the way. Currently Hogbite is fully engaged and will only do covert ops missions because that's what we need to do and the resistance ring elsewise is pretty useless. So we're trying to get A, the Avatar um, uh, project, major breakthrough, countered and B of course get that intel and then afterwards get a facility lead to hopefully get one facility ready um, as a target so that we have another means of countering the ongoing avatar project onslaught that is um, correct you heard correctly the avatar project is uh, yeah pretty much uh, steadily progressing and we have only limited means to combat it at this point so let's remove all of the soldiers in case you wonder yourself why am i not firing the soldiers from the roster that had been promoted let me give you an easy answer to that um, if you do not have enough soldiers of noticeable rank then the game will assume you are short on soldiers because it does not really think that you would be crazy enough to play with rookies and it will more often spawn soldiers, it will more often give soldiers as rewards for missions, and I don't want that because clearly these are even more useless rewards. So we don't want that to happen, which means we're going to keep kind of a roster of whatever, corporals and squaddies, we haven't used either of them, all of them have zero missions on them. So, as an info as well, I prepared spark number two, which is becoming more of a tank-ish spark, I hope. And yeah, both together Vector and spark two, who is currently called Secundus, will hopefully be a wonderful team. Uh, the DM, no, 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 let's double check whom we're taking with us here. So, Hunk is together with Maximilian Richter, uh, that is Sonar, and Sonar is still on a mission. Hayward and Toxic seem like two bonded uh, comrades that are an easy choice. XQS6 and True Rebel are the other two, so those will be our soldiers for now. We're making weapons and items available. Gotta get that second Mimic Beacon and a proper rifle. Gotta get blue screen rounds and an even more appropriate rifle. Do we really need the Mind Shield? Well, partially. I mean, why not? And instead of a grenade... Here, let's use another blue screen rounds. That's fine. I'm not going to waste more money on resources at this point. I think the two Mimic Beacons are more than enough. And three of our troops are immune to mind control. That's a nice side effect of uh, the Sparks as well, since I continue pointing out advantages of Sparks. Immunity to fire and gas, so environmental effects, as well as immunity to psionics. Fantastic. Good, we gotta eliminate an Advent Field Commander. And the way that these missions work is really um, unique uh, because we essentially gotta find this guy whilst we're being um, stealth. And once that has happened, we need to kill him. As long as we are in concealment, uh, the timer will not start. But once concealment is over, there will be a pretty merciless timer for us to uh, kill this guy which means of course we're trying to scout out as much as possible whilst being in concealment and only break concealment really when it is absolutely needed sparks certainly have an advantage because you can approach high ground like here even without moving in first 
I've decided we're going to take this entry call I like the high ground here and I don't want to split the group too much never split the party as they say All right, Vector is taking a first glimpse. No one there. Fair enough. The beauty of just traversing terrain without really being impeded by typical letters. It's almost as if they do have an integrated, always active grappling hook. Rolling. It's just a tiny bit better. Good. I already know there is a pack over here. Spectre plus Mutant, I think. Max should be immune to the Spectre uh, Shadowbound ability as well. I have not yet seen it. It's an unconsciousness effect and Max should be immune to unconsciousness effects as far as I'm concerned. So moving in further. Like I said, huge advantage in terms of Closing on target position now. just traversing terrain. Can bypass doors. Moving to designated position. And since we know no one is there, thanks to the mechs, we can aggressively push forward. Very nice. So far, everything's working well. These guys are moving to our left. We just got to acknowledge that they could theoretically step us in the back. We do not have another way of exiting or traversing through here. Wrecking ball would be not too bad here. You can just run through it, but I think it would break concealment. Just being realistic about that that's our target so we got the mimic beacon and i would say we're probably engaging with the target relatively soon i wouldn't see a reason not to do it there's no high ground here Definitely. I'm just considering about we're positioning ourselves over here. That way we could also go onto high ground afterwards and flank something. And we can might as well take shots in, in that direction. I think that's a decent position. Rolling. Moving in for Hayward. And Toxic also positions himself over here. So we got a lot of overwatches and next turn I would like to engage. It's very likely that we're going to be spotted out unless no one is moving. 
This here is, of course, making our situation a bit more miserable. I want to fight a third pack. Good, since these guys did not move, I do have an idea. Sparks can easily stand in the open. They're not being automatically spotted out. I would like to just make sure that our team is nicely moving in. Sorry for the background noise. All right, someone decided to mow the lawn with a spark-sized lawnmower. And I figured, yeah, mm, might not be the best idea to do that whilst I was playing. Good. Just getting some solid positions here, mainly trying to only pull two packs at a time. If we can follow this guy around, this pack of course is now going to join them, because Advent doesn't want us to single-handedly pick off the general. I can understand it. The general, on the other hand, continues to simply move and move and move. And there is yet another pack. Okay, cool. Good. Now we now we know what's going on. Good. This here is out of uh, reach for them. Running. Headed there now. Yeah, we're probably going to end up fighting multiple packs with that strategy. Not much I can do about it. It's just the way that they are being programmed. They definitely do want to protect the target. This is still not far enough away uh, to not be triggering. Ooh, interesting. Okay, well, they, are, they will be running into us sooner or later. Don't see how we can avoid fighting at least two packs at the same time. Okay. After this turn, we're going to engage. I'm kind of hoping that these guys will move a bit further. Really not enough cover that's left over to be not spotted out. So let's take some honest positions here and we're going to use Mimic Beacons in order to go through with that. We have plenty of cooldowns to help us with that. 
probably going to be spotted out now. Alright, first group is immediately spotted out and we have now triggered three. Yep. Okay, cool. So these two here are bond mates. So we got blue screen rounds and advanced stock. And we got uh, the Mimic Beacon. Wells has a Mimic Beacon. Good, the two of them are also teammates. Fair enough. So I would say in terms of just doing this here, let's eliminate the Spark first and the Viper. And we can do that with one person. Open up here for really solid cover. Let's try to get the mech down. Fortunately, we missed. That is very unfortunate. Um, and that means heading over teamwork. Fifty fifty, and we got a shot onto the advent general as well as a grenade, which may be helpful inside here. Okay, cool. Good. Let's attempt that once again. I really want to use the blue screen rounds as much as possible. There we go. Mech down. That's fine. Good. Well, let's assess the other targets. I want to kill the general ASAP. Doing that from high ground might be the right play. So, moving in. I already knew that there was another enemy up there. We got that expanded larger explosion range, which I'm now looking for. I mentioned beforehand just how handy it can become. And look at that, right? This is exactly what you're looking for. Massive amounts of damage. Let's get down the Advent General. Fortunately, he dodged. Good, we got overdrive. percent take the good shots first 
Edwin General is almost down. 70% still not too bad. Thinking about just killing the Spectre. Can't hit both of them, okay. Fair enough. But three damage is enough for a conventional grenade. So let's just effectively use our time here. I mentioned wanted to get rid of the general. Alright. Almost got this guy down. Moving in. Seventy percent shot. Yeah, we don't have the stock. Now it would be incredibly handy. Let's take that 70% shot. Let's get him down. We're going to use teamwork. Let's try to get the Viper down. Didn't work. And let us... Place a Mimic Beak in here, so that the Viper and the Stun Mounser have to attack it. I'm not too afraid of the um, Advent Priest. Overall a good first round, I mean, we fought three packs, pretty much dominated them. Yeah, and he tried to do Mind Control against um, the Mind Shield. Which is, ladies and gentlemen, why you want to take a mind shield with you. Fantastic item. Good, we got a stock here. And we also got the other mimic beacon, not sure if we really need it. out of curiosity could we reach this guy yes we can and with that also his cover would be blown which is exactly what we are looking for Good, let's start over here. Might want to kill that stun mouncer. Going into a flanking position. We got an outloader, so that's fine. Didn't fully work out as we intended it. Mech begins to move in. That's a nice little softening up. Movement request confirmed. Very nice. These advanced lancers can be quite tough to kill. I might say. Okay. 
So, since we can reach this guy from here, might as well reload. And take our grenade. Just getting rid of uh, the cover. Can't take high ground with Hayward, but we could hit him. And a nice little crit seals the deal. And this is perfect because we do have an advanced stock. I was always keeping him kind of in the back. Advanced stock versus two hit points is an automatic kill. Good. Perfect time for us to, re uh, to reload. Kind of lick our wounds. Get those timers back. Those cooldowns rather. Overwatch, Overwatch. Lots of Overwatch here. And why not? Vector can also Overwatch. Wow. The hit points are massive if you look at them. Absolutely love it. Two more rounds until we get Overdrive. There's no reason, since we don't have any time pressure, there is no reason not to wait for that. We're moving up just a bit. Good. One more round until overdrive. Good. They don't want to fall for an overwatch trap, it seems. It's okay. I can respect that. So let's trigger them instead. Or not. Apparently they don't want to be triggered either. Solid X coming by just moving with blue moves for now. Everybody is in this nice fire line. Continuing to overwatch. Still a lot of movement, but not a lot of action. Wow, something is pulling down the frame rate quite considerable, guys. I don't know what exactly it is, unless there is a massive swarm of losts kind of waiting behind the corner. I don't know what it is. Let me try to fix it. All right, back. So thank you, dear virus skin, for completely reorganizing your database in the middle of a firefight. That is why we don't have sparks in real life yet, because imagine you're in the middle of a firefight and the internal computer decides to just reorganize the database because it's too fragmented, whilst you're just desperately trying to cling on and kill some aliens. Well. It works now again. Sorry for the minor disturbance. We're still in the process of hopefully getting uh, the enemies finally in an overwatch trap. They should be right behind this um, corner. Good. It might not only be the database. Maybe it's also that specific map that my computer doesn't like. Out. 
We're going as close as possible to that entrance here. Moving to designated position. What I'm trying to achieve with it is enough movement so that we can rush in next turn. Yeah, they are right here. And even better, we got them in a big fat overwatch trap. Alright, both of them took a shot and are better now. Are you telling me that we actually killed all of them? No, we did not. Almost, though. Good, let's give our new spark. bit of a success and also some experience maybe we can already promote it another larium ca uh, cash that is fantastic overdrive yes please oh, let's take the shots to get down the mutant good most certainly we didn't like that map. The computer just didn't like it at all. Anyways, successful mission, guys. Perfect. So, that worked out better than I would have guessed. With two sparks, it's actually becoming more and more simplistic due to having uh, the overdrive available on two of them. We actually have a lot of reaction power and getting also a lot of explosions uh, done with uh, both of their heavy weaponry. We didn't even need to use the one from Spark uh, 2, so from Secundos. And the rookies did a fine job as well. No complaints from my side. Got ourselves Solarium Core, a data ca uh, cache, which is great. That's more intel for us. You have done an and job. that is fantastic. 97 intel, just right off uh, the gate gets us closer to 250 intel oh boy a scientist well first of all got to do the facility leads we're definitely going to get the scientist afterwards the game now thinks that we're actually short on scientists although we're not which is thanks to the laboratory we had some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that stinks give a few days rest They'll be ready to get back into it. This is the headquarters of the skirmisher faction. They may look like Advent, but they sure don't act like it. Now ah, that is bad. I was hoping Hopebite would get through it with uh, out a scratch. Let's see how bad the injury is. All right, all black market costs reduced by 33%. Oh, it's okay. Facility construction speed is not bad. We could use that. So yeah, as I was saying beforehand, 50 now. The game is such a cruel mistress from time to time. <sighs> okay, ability points are fine. The scientist is probably even better. So let's do that. And we're going to use... Raul... Whom else? Everybody got a partner? Wow, okay. So... It's Raul and True Rebel. So we only got a wounded chance, that's fair enough. Let's get that scientist. Not the best use of actions, but still. So no more good covered ops for the next half month. That stinks a bit. We got a spark going. 
I prepared that prior to the mission, as mentioned, and invested our last delirium into it. So 10 more days and we got another spark. So at least that part of the run is going well. Now let's get the facility lead before the Avatar project gets completely out of line. Yeah, plasma rifles and powered armor is exactly what we're looking for. Reduce overall cost of building workshops by 50% is absolutely garbage. Instead, I would like to get more intel. The other autopsies are not really needed. And this here can spark another breakthrough or trigger another breakthrough. Yeah, that's good. So far, we're doing fine. Just need to manage that avatar project here. And there we go. That's the facility lead. Intel is not needed at this point. Before we continue with Our Intel, as expected, let's just do the facility lead, which actually costs you 50 Intel, but I'm happy to pay that. And one day of research. The, the reason why I want to do that is we do have a safe passage available once the dark uh, once uh, the avatar project actually finishes we're getting another scientist in the meantime and with the scientist that we're now getting on our covert ops mission we should be set like we're at 12 scientists then almost 12. good eastern us is would have been the worst location for us to unlock it mainly because we are close to making contact with them anyways so the rng there is as always fantastic i was hoping for another destination but yeah at least this these here are two blips and there is two blips over here one blip over here so yeah we can now theoretically in engage in assaulting this facility which gives us some much needed breathing room and as if i would have um, staged this the avatar project continues to ramp up we got some nice training and our first psi operatives ladies and gentlemen this here is mr roby who can now oh learn void rift um yeah how about we're starting with that fortunately it takes some time to learn that i would really like to get a bit of another torso going Yeah, let's maybe instead give him proper arms. Thank you. Okay. I generally like the appeal of um, of um, the the whole punk style just for, for fun. But this here is supposed to be a bit more serious character. Blue is all of our Psy operatives are from a color coding perspectives and that should allow him to get a personal combat sim let's give him superior perception so that from the get-go he has proper aim yeah that's pretty decent and i think we only the only thing that's left now is we need to uh, find him a bond mate. In terms of soldier's abilities, he got inspiration as a random ability. That's not bad. Kind of giving someone else a turn. And if we had enough Valerium, I would actually start training a second soldier. Let me think about the following. We're canceling the training. And we're instead going to put Renvin into the training. 
That way we do have a second uh, Psyops and although they do not gain a lot of experience, a matter of fact none on the missions, they are still better than rookies. So having that extra Psyops is better than just getting another skill on the first Psy Operative. See, and now we definitely need to uh, counteract and invade the facility. How many more days? Six for the spark. Nah, we're going to do it earlier. Got a Psy Operative now. And we got resistance communications on the way, so it's not it's not too bad. In terms of global presence, I still think we're going to go through the United States just so that we get that uh, instant connection bonus. That's just too good. I'm going to take all three here. And then we can work our way to the new Arctic. That's possible as well. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Guys, this brings us to the end of uh, today's episode. Thanks so much for sticking with it. If you enjoyed what you have seen, then feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. That will always promote uh, the videos on YouTube. And that's all I'm asking for. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.